the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. Yes, Father, we glorify you. Lord, we bless your holy name. We exalt you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thy name be exalted. Thy name be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Maladu la badi mele kavada badi. Mazibeli matata la badi. E kabala badi mini anda baba badi. Mazibidi atabada badi. Ya kabadi mele bados. E kabali anda badi mini atabala badi. Rabados anda bala badi. Ye kabala da bidios anta bala badi. Rabadi and Stuvala Badi Ante Belebe, in Kabala Dianzi Ante Lelebes. Father, we bless you, we glorify you, we magnify you, Jehovah God. We exalt your name, O God. You are great, you are great. You are mighty and worthy to be praised. You are mighty and worthy to be praised. Hallelujah unto the great God of wonders. Hallelujah unto the great God of oneness. We glorify you, we magnify you. This is the last Friday of the year, the year full of affliction, the year full of pain, full of destruction and pandemic. But we come, O oh God, unto you, Jehovah, that you, O oh Jehovah, shall be lifted above all. We glorify you, we magnify you. We exalt your holy name. We say unto you, O God, be thou the glory, the honor, and the adoration. We worship your majesty. We worship your presence. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we came to say, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy of our adoration. You are worthy of our praise. Who is like unto you, O God, among the gods, among the gods? Who is like thee, O God, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise? Watuli ivala hadabe, mazulek anda, palos ivala kavis olade, aros indiankos avalis os ate, levazunanes ados. Parus and Demili Oka, Medus Aprandos Avales, Vezuza Lati Nadus, Aparos Ande, Levos Ambrazuriate, Yizanzos Ilahabade, Marus Ampeles Ozade, Levos Amprecatos, Enandos Ilavaduza, Levos Amparus Ande. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. I pray, O oh God, my Father. That the unction and the anointing, my God, that utters our dynamics and make us to enter the supernatural. Let that anointing, let that power, let that anointing, let that power fall upon somebody, fall upon somebody, fall upon somebody in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let the power fall upon somebody. I pray, oh God, at this hour. That we came before the great God of wonders. We came before the great God of wonders. We came before the ancient of days. The Alpha and the Omega. We came before the Lord who is above all gods. We came before he who is God above all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Spirit of the living God. Almighty Jehovah, Almighty God, great God of wonders, we came this hour to offer you thanksgiving of praise, thanksgiving of praise, of worship and adoration. You deserve all, O oh God. You deserve all praise, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we glorify you, we magnify you, we exalt you, Somebody open your mouth and thank God for one minute and begin to ask God 
for forgiveness of sin, for the atonement of our sins and our iniquities. For the Bible says, without holiness, nobody can see God. But we came that we will be blessed. We came that we will have an encounter with the righteous God and with the majestic God. And people of God, let us come in our humility. Let us come in our humility and in our brokenness of spirit and of our spirit and of our heart. That we will be able to obtain and obtain mercy in his presence for the forgiveness of sin in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Pray for the forgiveness of sin. Pray for the forgiveness of sin. Pray for the forgiveness of sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, we pray and plead the blood of Jesus that we came to you, O God, in our humility, in our submission, and in our sincerity to say unto you that only you are holy, only you are perfect, only you are righteous. Therefore, we come to you, O Jehovah God, that thou will forgive us our sins and our iniquities. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, I present my body, my soul, my spirit, the entirety of my destiny, that if there is any evidence against me by the devil, by reason of my sins, my disobedience and iniquity, I come to you, O God, pleading the blood of Jesus, that thou will cleanse me, forgive me of my sins, that I will behold thy glory, 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 and stand blameless before thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lift up my voice, O God, and I come before you as the priest of the house, on behalf of every man, every woman, every household under the sound of my voice. The Father God, let thy mercy forgive us. Let thy mercy atone by the blood. In the name of the Lord Jesus, now child of God, beloved in the Lord, lift your voice and let us pray. Let us pray for the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Pray for fresh oil. Pray for more oil. Pray for the anointing of the Lord. I don't know how you are going to look like after so many days. Because people of God, every now and then as we come, our God who is a faithful God, a prayer answering God, the number of times we have asked God for the oil, child of God, an hour is coming, a time is coming. You are going to be more dangerous, more dangerous than your enemy can ever imagine. We are going to be more empowered than our enemies can even imagine. We are going to be more empowered. My God, you are going to be very dangerous. My God, the more the oil comes, people of God, it is a measure, a measure, a measure. Lift your voice and pray. Pray for more oil, pray for more fire. More oil and more fire. More oil and more fire. In the name of Jesus, before the word of the Lord comes, pray that you will have the embodiment, you will have the overflow of the oil and the spirit of the Lord. That the word of God that is coming, you will never understand it by reasoning of your intellect, by reasoning of your own understanding. But the Spirit of the Lord will make it possible for the Word of God to be translated in the supernatural realm. That when you embrace it, it will sink deep and will be established in your spirit and your soul. And it will not be taken away. For Jesus said that, uh, oh, the sower went to sow a seed. And in the night, the thief came and stole it. But I pray in the name of Jesus. That even as your spirit is opened up, uh, may the voice of God, the word of God, become a seed that is well established, well planted in your spirit and your soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. I desire, I yearn, I am passionate for more of you, Spirit of the Lord. Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord. We yearn for more of the Spirit. 
We cry for more of the Spirit. We desire for more of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going deep into the scriptures. And may the Lord hold you by your hand. As a baby that have lost your way. And your father is taking you back to the direction. And to the highway of your greatness. And I pray that even as the word comes. May the Lord use the word to throw light upon your destiny and your purpose. For his light is a lamp unto us and a light unto us. I pray that whosoever have missed your way in life, may the word of God that is coming provide you with the light that will bring you back to that journey. That journey of fulfillment and of greatness. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to the book of Ezra. Ezra. The book of Ezra. The book of Ezra. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Ezra, my God. The Lord is about to speak to somebody's spirit. The book of Ezra. Ezra is just after Second Chronicles. Just after Second Chronicles. Ezra chapter 4 and verse number 1 coming. Whatever the Lord does, child of God, we are going to prevail. The Bible says, Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the, the return exiles were building a temple to the Lord, the God of Israel. Verse 2 said, Then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said to them, Let us build with you for we seek your God as you do, and we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Esahadon, king of Assur, which brought us up to this place. Now, when the adversaries of Judah, now is the time. When the Bible emphasizes on now, it means there's a set time. There is a particular time. There is a divine time. When the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard. When they heard it. So many demons and principalities are sniffing around. They are sniffing around. To know when our time for fulfillment is coming. To know when our time of blessing is coming. To know when our time of divine manifestation is coming. They sniff around like sniffer dogs. They sniff around like sniffer dogs. So our first prayer, we are praying. Any adversary that is sniffing all around us. To look for our time of fulfillment. Let the Lord, let the Lord cause them to lose their sense of smell. Oh yes, whatever that operates in the physical realm have another or other dimensions in the spiritual realm. So child of God, I want you to lift your voice and pray that any adversary sniffing around to know the time of your divine manifestation, the time of your blessing. May the Lord cause that demon to lose their sense of smell. My God, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Any adversary of my soul, any adversary of my destiny, any adversary, whether human or spiritual, Demons and principalities, 
powers and entities who are sniffing around to know the hour and the moment of my blessing. May Jehovah call them to lose their sense of smell forever. Lift your voice. Somebody lift your voice. Because sniffer, sniffer, sniffer doors are trained to be able to discover things that are hidden. Sniffer dogs, sniffer dogs, they are trained to sniff and to locate hidden things. Lift your voice and pray. That any demon that has turned itself into a sniffer dog, sniffer dog, whatever they sniff for, they will never let them lose their sense of smell. Somebody pray with anger. Pray with anger. Now when they were monitoring them, they were monitoring them. When they were not ready, they did not come. But when they were ready, they came. Monitoring, sniffing, lift your voice. Lift your voice and pray. Somebody lift your voice and pray. Pray and tell the Lord. That any demon, any adversary, any principality, any spiritual dog sniffing around to know your time of divine manifestation, to know your time of divine blessing, to know your time of divine fulfillment, let the Lord cause those powers, those principalities, satanic evil dogs, let them lose their sense of smell. Let them lose it. Somebody pray. Pray and tell God to cause them to lose their sense of smell. Let them lose their sense of smell. They will sniff around, but they will never know. My God. My God. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. For they must not be powerful than you are. They must not be powerful than you are. Lift your voice. Any sniffer dog, any demonic entity sniffing around, sniffing around, browsing, browsing around your life to know your time of fulfillment in order to mess you up. Let them lose their sense of smell. Somebody pray. Child of God, pray. Somebody pray. Child of God, pray. Let them rather lose their sense of smell. In the name of Jesus, let them lose their sense of touch and feeling. Every sensory organ, every sensory virtue that they use to discover your time. My God, let them lose it. 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 Somebody has said, let them lose it. Let them lose it. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, when they hear their sense of hearing, lift your voice and pray. Anybody who has opened their ears to listen to your next coming breakthrough in order to frustrate you, in order to stop it, let the Lord cause them to be deaf, deaf, deaf and dumb, deaf and dumb and blind. Lift your voice. Somebody, don't spare any of them. Don't spare them. Don't spare them. The Bible says when they heard, when they heard it, when they heard, let them lose their sense of hearing. I pray. My father, my father, any satanic adversary, any evil adversary, principalities and powers, entities and elements who are listening, who have opened their ears to know the hour of divine manifestation in order to come and destroy it, in order to frustrate it, my father, my God, Whosoever has opened their ears 
to hear bad things about us, to hear evil things about us, to expect evil things about us. My father, my father, let them go deaf and dumb. Let them go deaf and dumb. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Somebody lift your voice. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 1 verse 20. There was a prophet and a high priest called Zechariah. Zechariah was the father of John the Baptist. And behold, the Lord has prophesied concerning the future of John the Baptist. But prophet Zechariah, high priest Zechariah, was doubting it. He opened his mouth and said, At my old age, how can it be possible? And the Bible said in Luke chapter 1 verse 20, that the angel of the Lord said to Zechariah, and behold, thou shalt be damp, and you will not be able to speak until the day that this miracle has happened. Lift your voice and pray. This was a high priest of God, but the high priest of God was becoming an interference to the birth of John the Baptist. So the angel of the Lord, by the power of God, made the man of God damp, 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 you couldn't speak. Lift your voice. If God can cause a high priest, if God can cause a prophet to be damp, so that they will not mess up and interfere with their blessing, lift your voice and pray. Let the Lord do unto our adversaries. Make them blind. Make them deaf and blind and damp. Make them deaf and damp. Make them blind. Make them lose their sense of smell. Let the Lord cause all of this to happen to adversaries so that they will not have anything to be able to monitor us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And the temple that we are talking about is your life. Our life. Our life. Our life. He said, don't you know that your bodies are the temple of the Most High? Now it's all about your life and your destiny. When the enemy realizes that you are about to change, you are about to be transformed, you are about to be promoted, you are about to enter into your season of blessing, then they deliberately came as if they want to help you. Lift your voice and pray that such people cannot even come close to you in order to confuse you, in order to convince you, in order to deceive you. In order to seduce you, lift your voice and pray. Somebody lift your voice and pray. Pray and ask God to crush every sensory, every sense ability, every ability of senses of the enemy. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And verse 2 said, they came to Zerubbabel, the chief of the fathers, and they said unto them, Let us build with you. Let me tell you, our enemies have nothing good for us. But sometimes they come in disguise. Many have entered our lives before, and you never knew. But let us pray that anybody that is walking into our life, Presenting themselves as a saint, as a helper, as a deliverer, as a destiny helper, and the devil, the person is a, a snake under grass, and the person is an enemy behind the scene. May the Lord expose them. May the Lord expose them. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Concerning this coronavirus, people of God, there's one thing that was going on. And this is the reason why a lot of people were killed in London. 
the youth and the children are asymptomatic asymptomatic which means that they get the virus but they don't show the symptoms so these children go to their parents who are vulnerable and they got it and died many people from the BAME community from the BAME community they died because of this when they didn't see the symptoms in the children they thought they were safe they thought they were virus free that is how it killed a lot of the people in London if only if their vulnerable parents knew that their children can be a potential adversary they will never have been careless lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray even there were some people that were sent to nurses doctors and care homes that the PPE were even infected but child of God because it was a PPE the people thought that it was coming to help them only for them to be infected with the PPE that was infected why? because they did not see they did not know they did not observe lift your voice and let us pray that anybody coming into our life, any situation that presents itself as attractive, and that thing has behind it something that can harm you, please let the Lord expose. Let the Lord expose. Nowadays, when that thing happened, because they knew that old people are very vulnerable, when people see old people, they run away. When people see old people, they run away and they embrace the youth and the children who have it and showing no signs. And that is how they ended up getting it and dying. It must never happen to us. It will not happen to us. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray that any situation that presents itself as attractive and that situation have the virus may the lord open our eyes to know that this particular situation this particular place this particular person that the virus is on them therefore we should be careful therefore we should be careful lift your voice when i think of this it becomes so painful that children themselves were the reason why their fathers and their mothers are no more. I was telling a story about a certain woman that was taking care of a foster child. And this foster child came to the mother, the foster mother, during the lockdown, when nobody was going out, that they are going out. And the woman said, but you know what is out there? Why do you want to go out? The girl told the foster mother that, look, I don't think you understand it. And the mother said, what don't I understand? He said, don't you understand that we want to go out there and get the virus? Don't you understand it? That we don't care what is going on. That we just want to go out there and get the virus. Look at the child saying it. Why? Because when they get it, they are asymptomatic. And while they are symptomatic, they will go and get it and come and kill the old poor woman. Lift your voice and pray. This one is not only the virus. Oh. Any human being, any personality, any situation that presents itself as a help, as attractive, may the Lord expose the intent behind. Let the Lord expose the intent behind. For many are in our midst. Many are with us. Many are working with us in our midst, but they are more deadlier than the serpent. The serpent showed itself to Adam's wife Eve, but in our dispensation, the serpent lies under grass. Under grass, the serpent don't show up. The serpent is lying under grass. Lift your voice. That in the same way in the book of Acts of the Apostle, chapter 28, the Bible said, 
And when Paul had gathered the stick upon the fire, the viper came out. Came out. Lift your voice and pray. That may Jehovah place upon you some serious fire. Some serious fire. I pray. I say, I pray for somebody. May the Lord baptize us with some serious fire. That any viper, any serpent, hiding in our midst with an intention to bite us on our ears, Kayanta, Polandos Ifate, Bully us of Ate, Vocade to Lade, Vosendes of A, Pharos, Apande, Kofande Pa, Vos Ate, Rokatus Andelo Ovu, Mepande Tosa. I am so provoked this afternoon. I am so provoked this moment that any satanic viper, any satanic serpent hiding in our lives, hiding in our midst with an intention to strike us on our ways, you know who fateka, let the fire of Yehoah, let it be stirred up and let that fire expose that fire, expose that viper. Expose that viper, expose that serpent, expose that viper. In the name of Jesus. Shan Devilibi. A divino of fata. Limande tus apa. Shefande carandos. Prande tusia. First Corinthians chapter 69. A great and effectual door opened. And adversaries came around. And they were many. They always wait until the opportunity comes. They always wait until it is your season. But today, may they not remain in our midst. May they not be comfortable anymore in our midst. But let the activation of the power and the fire of the Lord flush them out, expose them, and when they expose, let them not escape but fall into the fire of the Most High God. No, the viper, the viper, won itself around the hand of Paul. And the Bible said, after they have watched for a great while. And the viper couldn't bite the guy. Apostle Paul shook the animal into the fire. Lift your voice and pray. The Bible said they came to them and said, we want to build with you. No, we will not build with you. For the Bible said the barbarians, they were so kind to Paul. The barbarians, the natives, they were so kind. It was faith. It was a pretense. It was a counterfeit. Let your voice. Somebody be provoked. And curse the devil. Curse the devil. Let the Lord rebuke the devil. Even Satan. May God rebuke you, Satan. In the name of Jesus. They have hidden. They are hiding. In the midst of the people of God, I see they came to help, but it is for evil intent. Akados, Mandubanos, Ufanteka, whosoever has taken a contract from Lucifer, whosoever has taken a contract from demonic powers and entities, oh, that has visited our lives with an intention to destroy. Menandos Atta, let the Spirit of the Lord, let the hand of Jehovah, let it be stirred up, let it be provoked, and may those adversaries, let them be apprehended, let them be apprehended, let them be apprehended. Somebody lift your voice, lift your voice, let them be apprehended, Patos, apprehended. And cast into fire. Let them be apprehended and be cast into fire. 
In the name of Jesus. This is our final prayer. A door and an effective one has opened unto us. But there are many adversaries. Your final prayer. The Bible said the enemy will rush in like a flood. But the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard. And 1 Corinthians 69 said, When that door opened, the adversaries multiplied. I don't care and I don't mind about their number. Because the Lord told us in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, He said, Do not be afraid of the multitude. For the battle is the Lord's. The battle is not ours. The battle is the Lord. So we don't care. We don't mind about their number. Let your voice. Pray and say, oh God, raise a standard against my adversaries. Raise a standard against my adversaries. Raise a standard. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. And pray and say, God, lift a standard. Lift a standard against my adversaries. When they rise in like a flood, you have promised us, O oh God, that we should not be afraid of the multitude. For the battle is not ours. The battle is yours. Therefore, we provoke you this hour that any adversary that has stayed and missed in us that have hidden in our lives all the years and they have an intent to destroy oh god let thy fire let thy fire oh god expose them and raise a standard against them in the name of jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you lord. We give praise. We give glory. We give adoration unto the Lord. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. We give God praise. We give God glory. We give Him praise. We give Him glory. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I pray unto Jehovah who blesses us and add no sorrow unto Jehovah who blesses us and nobody can curse us unto the Lord who has made you an eye the head and never the tail unto the Lord that has given us power to triumph over our enemies unto the Lord that has opened greater doors of blessing salvation, redemption well, prosperity, protection, provision, and nobody dare close that door. Unto Jehovah, who have shut the gates and the doors of evil against us, and nobody dare open that evil door. Unto him that have caused you and me to be moved from the kingdom of darkness into the marvelous light of his glory, into his capable hands, into his able hands, into his formidable hands, into his secure hands, into his faithful hands, into his providing hands, I commit our souls, I commit our spirits, and I commit our bodies, families, and the entire household. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we pray for frontline workers, key workers, governmental leaders, departmental leaders, Health sectors that may the Almighty God open their eyes to see where the dangers are, so that caution and precaution will be taken to save lives and to save souls. In the name that is above every name, even in the name of Jesus, I call it that. Amen. Let us with joy and with excitement share the grace to the glory of God. Believe it that the Lord knows what our adversaries are planning and the Lord will prevail for us. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all 
now and forevermore. Surely, the goodness and the message of the Lord be with us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the presence of God forever and ever. Amen. Shalom unto all of you. I love you and I cherish you, people of God. And I pray that God will continue to cause you to prevail over your adversaries. Adversaries are always around. They never disappear. But when we hand them over to God, the Lord deals with them. As they move on, others come. But we will always prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will come back again. And in the evening session, if we are not coming, we are preparing for the all night. We are preparing for the all night. Today, I am trusting God to move us to another level. I am trusting God to move us to another dimension. So this evening, from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. is fire night. Fire night. We will go, it's called midnight cry. We will cross over into the new day victoriously and empowered. Do not miss it. I will only encourage you to bring one or two people along with you. Invite one or two people. Tell them that tonight there are going to be fireworks. God will bless you for making that investment in Jesus' mighty name. Until I see you again in the evening, it is shalom, 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 and peace to you and your household in the name of Jesus. I love you with the love of God. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.